What is water? Water is life. Water is everything. Where there's no water, there's no life. That means we need to keep water to use it after. We use to keep water in the gallon. We use to keep water in the tank. This is the typical poly tank in TTI, tank already, Ghana here. This is the bottle to pump the water to the poly tank and another pump to the poly tank to send it to the various departments in the house so that they can use it. But the problem here is to control the amount of water in the poly tank all the time. That means if we don't have water in the poly tank sometimes, we have to go outside and look for the water and that's a big deal. And if the, uh, the motor is pumping the water in the poly tank and there is no any system to control that amount of water, that means you have some overflowing and it will affect the building because uh, most of the houses here, they have their poly tank on top of the building. And if there is overflowing, that means there will be leakage and the building will be affected. Also, if the water keeps overflowing, we will have a water bill and electricity bill because the motor uses electricity to pump the water into the poly tank. And that is a big, big, big problem. What can we do about it? It's happened that I'm the president of Creativity Group, MST. My name is Atanle Oloro de Lolo. We are now currently at TTI in collaboration with Fab Lab Ghana. We are responded by MIT Fab Foundation in collaboration with Ghana Fab Lab to solve this problem in our local areas here. How to solve this problem? As I said, in collaboration with Ghana Fab Lab MIT, we came up with a simple idea to solve this problem with the local materials we have here. And we came up with the idea to use three IC together. The 4001 CD is one of the IC to control the on and off of the water. And the other ICs in the circuit are 4001. 4001 to control the amount of water you have in the polyton. The circuit is in such a way that if the water is at the critical level in the polyton, it will power the motor pump so that the motor will start feeding the polyton with water. And the two IC together in the circuit, that means the 40, 0, 40 cc CD will be the IC to control the amount of water in the panel to show you that you have a certain quantity of water in the polyton. That is the basic idea I have for the water level detector. And we need to put some probe into the water so that as we all know that the water is a bad conductivity, but we can use it as a switch so that we can power the IC to switch on and off the LED in such a way to power the motor. And we use the relay to, con uh, to power the motor by putting 220 volts on and off so that the motor will come on and off at a critical moment, uh, at a critical uh, time to stop the overflow of the water all the time. Okay, after all this, we came up with this circuit here with collaboration with Ghana Fabula to solve the water problem we have in our local area. This is the circuit we have and this is the LED display to show you the amount of water you have in the whole town. And if this LED is on, that means the motor is running. And if it's, this LED is on, that means to show you you don't have enough amount of water in the whole town. As this LED is on, it's red. It's just to tell you that the amount of water you have in the polytank is at the critical level. That means you need to, uh, the motor will start in a few moments. This is my probe, and this is the probe I need to put into the polytank 
I will use this one as a motto to do the demonstration. And you have to feed everything from the soil so that the circuit and the motor will get their power. I will start in a very short time this demonstration. I'm starting feeding the pulling tank with the water. And as I said it, the LED starts lighting because the amount of water is coming up. I'm starting feeding the pulling tank with the water again. Let's say we have water in the polytank. And this LED is indicating you the amount of water you have in the polytank. I'm using this one as a motor. It's still running. That means there's enough of, uh, enough of water in the polytank. If I'm keeping raising this uh, pro, the LED will start coming out, coming down to show you the amount of water you have in the polytank. I'm starting pulling it out as the water keeping down and it will start automatically the motor so that it will feed the pole tank and um, that if the motor is running that means the led ring here yeah, supposed to be come on to show you that the motor is running and the led to show you the amount of water keep increasing if the buzzer comes down that means the, the, the polytank is about to flow and to, it to stop the water, uh, the motor automatically. And here now the motor is not running again to show you that the amount of water in the polytank is enough for you to use it. And I'm keeping raising the probe as they are using the water in the polytank and the LEDs here are keep and the motor will start back again. And I'm doing the system again. And the LED are coming off. The polytan is full. I'm doing it again. There is not enough water for the pump to pump into the poly tank. It should normally stop the motor to not burn your motor so that you can use it for the next time. That means there is no water for the motor to pump into the poly tank. And the motor normally is supposed to stop automatically. This LED shows that there is not there is no water for the pump to pump and it will stop the motor automatically. That means the probe is outside the water. There is no water in the, into the poly tank. This is a simple system you can build, everyone can build. I'm actually an electrical and electronic engineer. But it's not because of that you have to have a degree or whatever in electrical electronic engineering to build something like that. Everyone can build it. This is a simple circuit to show you how to manage the amount of water you have in the full time. You don't have to be a waterman to be around all the time to put on and off the poly tank because there is maybe time is money and you can set a system to do that thing automatically so that if you come in a, if you want to use the water at a good time and at a good moment, you can use it like that. This circuit I hope will keep running for a long time so that the circuits will help the owner or the person going to use it as a good purpose. This is one of my dance here as a Ghanaian song. I will say thank you Fabla. <laughs>